With the H13 series, Supermicro's GPU servers are back and better than ever, available with AMD Epic Genoa processors in four and up to eight U configurations. Oh, it's a beast, and we're gonna go check it out. Naturally, we'll be kicking things off with what they call the universal GPU server, and this thing is an absolute beast. Fully configured, this machine can suck back north of eight, thousand watts but boy will you ever be getting a lot of performance for your power it can have up to 192 zen 4 cpu cores up to six terabytes of memory and 160 pci express gen 5 lanes that it uses dun, 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 for the top this config right here has not one not two not three not four not five not six not seven but eight NVIDIA Hopper H100 GPUs for the most intensive HPC simulation and machine learning workloads. But wait, there's more. I've got Vic from Supermicro here who's gonna tell me about his favorite thing about the universal GPU server, its flexibility. I am super pumped about this product, Linus. So if you take a look at this product, I mean, so many things are going on this one. So number one, of yeah. course, like a dual socket and you can put up to 400 watts on each of them. You can get, you know, six terabytes of memory. That's all good, right? Yeah. But more importantly, the configurability that comes within this particular platform, why it's called universal GPU platform. I could swap the bottom. Yes, you can. I could swap out the top. Yes, you can. So if I don't want eight h 100 Get rid of it. I could have something else. Exactly. And do I have all the cooling and all the power that I need? Absolutely. This beast is built to basically take on any kind of accelerator. It has enough power, enough cooling, enough capacity that you can run with it. Well, what if I need more? Oh, you can add more systems to this. I mean, in this particular one, this is the one designed with NVIDIA Hopper H100, as you know. You can put racks and racks together and connect them and have a linear performance scalability. How many exabytes you want? How many extra scale performance that you want? So you can have all of it. I can, really? You, Absolutely. For me, now? For you, you can, yes. You sure? Why not? Because I don't have the money. That is where the Universal GPU server's little brother comes in. And I say little, but it's still four rack mount units thick. It's got the same support for up to 192 cores, six terabytes of memory, all that good stuff, but it's designed with versatility in mind first and foremost. So instead of having to upgrade an entire GPU module, well here you have support for up to eight GPUs or different kinds of accelerators, and you can mix and match what you need depending on your workload, which means you can even adapt to new workloads over time. You've also got support for two additional PCIe 16X cards, be they for networking or even additional GPUs, and the versatility doesn't end there. As configured, each one of my accelerators here is fed by up to a 16X PCIe Gen 5 link. But because this daughter board or shelf that they're sitting on has PCI Express switching capability, I don't need to feed the full 16 into each GPU. I could start unplugging some of those links and say, plugging them into the NVMe storage bays in the front of the server. Say for example, if some or all of my GPUs needed access to high-speed local storage. The possibilities are endless. With this kind of flexibility, it's no wonder that Supermicro's 4U GPU server is their best-selling GPU compute server. If you guys want to learn more about the rest of Supermicro's AMD Epic Genoa H13 family, you can check out the full set of videos on Supermicro's website.